Yon. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Gerber Mamato. Welcoming you to our 45th episode of our field to webinar, a weekly learning and sharing sessions on various topics by local and international tennis coaches, players, parents, and racket sports enthusiasts. Brought to you by the Philippine Tennis Association and Milo. Hi, Coach Davis. Hi, Coach Gerb, and good evening to all the viewers. Natin. So if you have co questions, comments, shout out, shout outs, or anything that you'd like to share. So I'm most willing to read them for you. So make sure, write it down on the comment section uh, during the live stream. Tapos make sure po paki-authorize natin ang stream yard so you can share it away. Hihintayin ko po lahat yan, ha? okay? Um, thank you rin po sa lahat ng nag-share ng ating Silta webinar for tonight for everyone's information. Uh, we are streaming live simultaneously on Filta Facebook page. Children's Tennis and Sports Management Incorporation FB page, uh, Milo Philippines Facebook page. And sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin, we uh, encourage you to ask questions. Tapos, if you have official matters to discuss, please email us at philippinepen at yahoo.com.ph. So, our topic for tonight, Coach Derb, very interesting to. So, Tennis Chat with uh, Ms. Lizette Cabrera, part one. So, but before we start, Coach Derb, Mag-thank you muna tayo sa Sydney Radio kay Mr. Mark Delena. This would have not been possible without uh, your help. And syempre kay Tita Marie Dato Mamawal. Thank you rin po. Ayan. So um, uh, we are excited to share with you our tennis chat uh, with WTA rank uh, top 150, Ms. Lisette Cabrera, a professional tennis player born in Australia, but parents are both from the Philippines. But before we uh, we start, um, punta muna po tayo sa ating tennis news. So, Coach Derb? Tennis uh, news natin, walang iba kundi syempre ang ating uh, uh, WTA na si Alex Ayala sa kanyang uh, recently na umakit na naman ranking niya, Coach Davis. 660 wow. na. Grabihan. Congrats, uh, congrats Alex. Uh, after ng isang impressive campaign niya sa unang W60K tournament, 60K uh, in uh, Bellinzona, Bellinzona, Switzerland. Yan. Kalaban niya ang mas matataas na rank at mas experience na mga kalaro. Umabot si Alex sa uh, uh, third round. Yun. Tinalo niya sa first round si Margot uh, ng of France in the opening round na may score na 7-6-6-2. And sa, si Laura Ayona Par of Romania, ang uh, second round niya na may score na 6-7, love. Uh, however, uh, uh, med, uh, third round na lang inabot niya uh, sa ating uh, natalo siya kay Simona Walter in the third round uh, with the score of 5-7, Yan. So, Coach Davis, ito na ating yeah. tennis news. Anyway, congratulations pa rin, Alex, for your new yes. ranking, ha? Mataas na. Keep it up, keep it up. 162, okay, so, yes. Yes, yes. So, anyway, before we we proceed talaga sa pinaka-objective uh, natin for tonight, so, tennis trivia muna po tayo. Na, alam nyo ba na may longest point played in the history of tennis? So, sino nga ba itong mga players na to? Coach Derb. Okay, so... Uh, si Dicky Nelson, um, number one, uh, number um, uh, 93 in the world. And si Gene Hepner, na uh, 172 in the world, nung taong September um, 24, 1984. So, 37 years wow. ago. Okay? So, tumagal ang kanilang rally, Coach Gerb, ha? tumagal ang kanilang rally ng 29 minutes. At Rally. hindi ito joke. Yes, Rally yes. <laughs> isang para sa isang, sa isang point, Coach Gerb, ha? para sa isang point. And hindi ito joke para sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin. So, total of 643 shots. Alam nyo ba kung, uh, alam nyo rin ba na first round lang yun ng WTA uh, 500, uh, sorry, $50,000 tournament sa Richmond. Tapos, Coach Gerb, natapos ito sa score na 6-4, 7-6, 
uh, 13-11. Uh, panalo si Vicky Nelson. So imagine guys, first round ng tournament and two sets lang siya. <laughs> so ganun. Uh, bali, uh, six hours and 33 minutes ang inabot ng game nila. Okay, nung... Okay, Coach Herb. Based ito sa interview ni Miss Vicky Nelson, okay? Nung ika-642nd uh, uh, shot niya, dun pa lang siya nag-decide na mag-umalo ng winner. <laughs> so, pero ang, na, ano doon, Coach? Oo, oh, oh, dun lang. So imagine ko anong mga shots yung mga pinaggagawa nila ng time na yun. So after na makuha ni Miss Vicky ang point, nag-collapse siya with cramps sa kanyang legs. So nabig because of that nabigyan siya ng uh, violation, time violation warning. But she pulled it uh, together and got back to the baseline para mag-start yung next point. So imagine ko anong palo nila, anong palo yung ginagawa nila at umabot sila ng 29 minutes for that one point. So sabi pa sa interview ni Miss Vicky, papasok siya sa net pero bigla siyang titirahan ng love ng kanyang uh, kalaban. So balik uli sila sa baseline. So ayun pa, ayun pa rin kay Miss Vicky, humingi rin sila, humingi siya ng apology sa mga lines official dahil nga sa haba ng kanilang game na halos makatulog na nga daw sa panonood sa haba ng game nila. So, <laughs> grabe talaga. So, pero coach, grabe, pero coach, imagine, 'di ba? After yung manalo ni Miss Vicky doon sa game na 'yon against um, Hepner, umabot pa rin yung next round niya sa second round ng three sets. Kalaban niya si Michaela Washington. Um, panalo si uh, Miss Vicky ng first set ng 7-5. Five, se- uh, five. Tapos natalo siya ng 7-5, um, six love sa uh, second set and third set. So sa interview niya, sobrang haba talaga at hindi na daw talaga niya kayang <laughs> pumalo. At, as in, pagod na siya. Hindi niya na kaya the following day. So, Yun ang ating tennis trivia for tonight. Tennis trivia. <laughs> Yun. Thank you for that, Coach Davis. Uh, yes. And, um, syempre, ito na, pinakihintay nating lahat. Uh, we will share our tennis chat with Miss uh, Lizette Cabrera. So, yan. So, Miss Lizette, uh, thank you for sharing your time. Ha? Alam namin you're very busy. Hey, with your schedule. Yeah, to chat and yeah, kind of connect with all the um, Filipino community. <laughs> oh. Yeah, your uh, Fil- your Filipino tennis fans are all excited to getting to know Lizette Cabrera. Lalo na po kami sa field ta, mas excited po kami. And oh, remind lang po, <laughs> remind lang po namin, Miss Lizette, na we're not professional. So kung okay lang po, <laughs> hope namin you don't mind. Kung mag overtime tayo a bit, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, no worries. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please uh, read, be ready to greet your Filipino fans also in English. And maybe in Australia, sorry, in Tagalog. can't speak it so I'll always answer in English so all right. sorry all right all right all right got it yeah go ahead coach Davis go ahead Davis go ahead uh uh where's your location uh Miss Lisette are you in your house yes I'm at home uh, we, uh which yeah which tennis center do you play um, I train at the Queensland Tennis Centre. It's, you know, the Brisbane International. It's usually the first yes, part of the year. Yes, yes. Um, yes, yeah, so that's where I train. That's where the National Academy is. Okay. How can yeah. we follow your uh, tournament results? Um, it's kind of hard. I guess just Google um, my name and then all the results should come up. But there's this app that I have. It's called TNNS. <laughs> And if you download it on your iPhone or Android, it shows a lot of the tournaments, um, depending if I'm playing like a WT or an ITF, um, you can see tournament finder and then it'll give you a notification when I go on and you can kind of follow the live scores. 
I see. Okay, thank oh, you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, by, by the way, Miss Lisette, uh, here's Coach Chris. Uh, he will say hi, and then he's the one who will introduce our um, filter press. Coach Chris. Hi, Lisette. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, good. I'm, I'm Coach Chris. Uh, currently, I'm the head coach for the Philippines. And with us, actually, we, we have Antonia Cabritas to, to welcome you in this webinar uh, of, of, of ours, the, the filter webinar, which should be aired uh, uh, in, a, in the next couple of days. Uh, I would like to invite Attorney Cabritas to, to welcome you in this webinar. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, Lisit. This is uh, Antonio Cablitas, I'm the president of the Tennis uh, Association. It's really quite hard to see you. And, and uh, I have a welcome. I have to welcome the Philippines as this COVID thing passes away. Yeah. We're very proud of you, Lisette. In fact, and have a chance, no? I was hoping for two Australian Open. By, wow. invited by Joe Pollard, McNamee, and then Craig Taylor. I had the occasion to be there. I, I, I don't know if you were around already at the time, 2019 and 2020, Australian Open. Mm -hmm. Next, I'd like to see you personally, and if you can come over, I am to host your stay. I hope you can meet with us because you're really an honor. You're an honor for us. Oh, thank you. I'd love to come to the fields once um, COVID is kind of getting better and yeah, just kind of connect with everyone. And yeah, I've never, I've only been to the Philippines once. So um, yeah, just meet everyone. Yeah, or for you, Lisette. Uh, I'm proud to have Filipinos abroad climbing international. Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really exciting. It's very yes. awesome that there's me and Alex Ayla. I think that's how you say your last name. Um, there's yeah. Layla Hernandez in yeah. And Layla as well. I know Layla really yeah. well. She's really yeah. lovely. Mm -hmm. It's an honor really to have you uh, to have you listen. In fact, how came I how I came to know you? Filipinos in Bahrain, you have a tennis club. And then Back I think months before, he told me. Uh, who is uh, doing uh, doing in post colors? He mentioned your name to me. Then I started to really uh, get some information. You were 119 at the time when he was giving me your name to be in it. We really would love to have you because you know there is one area. the uh, uh, separation for young girls and our tennis now we're happy during my time you alex iala and then leila fernandez really these are different parts of the world the filipino Philippine flag is showing for us i'm proud of you let's Le and then we would like to tap your front keep your if your time you're welcome to all the time, Liz, and your family. Thank you so much. Hopefully soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Tony. Let's now proceed, uh, Ms. Lisette, to our uh, Q&A, uh, starting with my partner, Coach Davis. Yeah. Hi, um, good afternoon, Ms. Lisette. By the way, I'm Davis, the national coach. So um, after the Australian Open, what what WTA tournament did you compete next? And kamusta ang results? Uh, so I competed in a tournament in Adelaide. Um, we were very lucky that uh, Tennis Australia put another WTA event um, for the women. So I got to play there. I lost in the qualifying rounds. Um, but I won a round in doubles with my partner and then we lost in the 
second round or the quarterfinals, something like that. And then after that, I had to get a scan on my elbow because I actually have a tear in my ligament of my elbow. So unfortunately, the last six weeks, I haven't been able to practice. So I've just been doing lots of fitness and rehab, but I'm hoping to get back on court soon and head over to Europe for Roland Garros if my um, elbow is better. Yeah. Thank you for uh, your answer, Mrs. Seth. I, ho uh, I hope you get well soon. So Thank next you. next question is from Claire. Hi, Miss Lizette. I'm Claire Clavaton from Roa City Capis, western part of the Visayas. My question is, how do you reward? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I love to eat food, so I'd probably go celebrate with my family and eat um, lots of food, maybe have some champagne to celebrate. Um, but usually when um, we are traveling week to week, we don't get much downtime in between weeks. So we don't actually get to celebrate um, too often. But when I do get to celebrate, I always love to uh, go hang out with my family and yeah, just kind of enjoy the moment um, because, you know, you don't win every week and tennis is a very tough sport. So you've got to enjoy the moments when you do win. <laughs> Thank you for that answer, Ms. Lizette. Uh, Mai Mai, your question, please. Uh, hi, Atelisset. I hope you're doing great right now. So, I am Renzo Jumane Echidora from the art capital of the Philippines, Ancona Rizal in Lasot. So, my question for you, at is, can you see yourself establishing a tennis academy here in the Philippines in the future? Um, I'd actually never really thought about it, um, but I definitely think if I had the means to do it and obviously I'm making lots of connections in the Philippines. Um, I would love to start an academy there one day in the future. Um, but for now, I'm just really focusing on my tennis and making sure um, I can get good results and keep my body healthy. And hopefully that will inspire um, young girls and boys in the Philippines as well to play tennis. Um, and then, yeah, maybe um, in the future, that could be an option. That would be really exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for that uh, answer, Miss uh, Lizette. Okay, the next one is uh, my brother, Daryl John. Hello po for our beautiful guest today, Miss Lizette Cabrera. My name is Daryl John Noalano from Malolos, Bolacan. And my question for you is, what motivates you to continue playing at a high level despite difficulties such as lack of training because of the COVID situation? Yeah, good question. Um, I love the feeling of competing and winning um, because obviously tennis is my job, but I wouldn't really call it a job. I love what I do and I'm really grateful um, to be doing it. Uh, I always look at like, I love the feeling of winning. I'm so competitive in everything I do. And whenever I get to step out on the court or practice, I always try and be the best that I can be. So when I'm kind of feeling not as motivated, I just kind of kind of write down some goals of where I want to be um, because, you know, you never know what could happen. You could get injured like I am now or, um, you know, your career is not that long. So I just always try and make sure that if I'm losing motivation, I um, look at my goals and kind of, remember that feeling of winning and how much I love it. And yeah, that kind of is what motivates me. Thank you for that uh, answer. Very inspiring. Uh, all the way from the next question will be all the way from the beautiful uh, resort island of Palawan. Hello, Charisma. Hi, Miss Lisette. I'm Charisma Ben Orsaga from the home of the large, largest pearl in the world, Oxpo in Palawan. And my question is, who do you wish would regularly watch you perform at every match? Oh, I've never had that question. Uh, first thing, I've always wanted to go to Palawan, so hopefully I get to go there one day. Um, who would I get to have watch? Um, well, I have a celebrity crush. His name is Channing Tatum. I don't know if you know him. He's a male actor. Yes. And I really like him, so I'd probably say have him watch every single match. <laughs> but, yeah, probably him. <laughs> Okay, thank you for that question. Uh, I answer, Ms. Lizette. Fingers crossed. <laughs> English, so you're the out next one is English, you're out. <laughs> Channing, Channing Tatum, right? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
Oh my God. <laughs> okay, the next question is from Fernando. Uh, hi, Miss Lizette. I'm Fernando Po from Baulot City from the region of Visayas. And my question to you is, um, what was your most memorable, memorable moment during the Australian Open? And especially playing against top-ranked player Simona Halep. Yeah, that would have to be my most memorable moment. I've never played on Rod Laver Arena. Um, and that's always been a dream for me. And just stepping out onto the court and seeing my family in the box. And, um, it was a crazy feeling. Like I was so nervous, but so excited. It's it's what I train for, you know, six days a week, um, training so hard when no one's watching. And then to have kind of all the eyes on you and kind of show people, you know, all the hard work because they definitely don't see that. They think, you know, you just made it there. And um, But yeah, that was probably um, a really special moment for me, even though I didn't um, play that well. I was a bit nervous. Um, yeah, it was definitely one of the best experiences for me. And I feel so comfortable out there now. So hopefully next year, if I get to play on a, a big stage, I can hopefully win next time. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. We, 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 I actually watched that match. So, yeah, I could only imagine. Yeah. Um, next question is from Chelly. Good afternoon, Miss Lisette. My name is Chelly Cruz. I'm from Cabanatuan, Yabestiha, Central Luzon. So, my question is from your Instagram photos, you obviously enjoy your life as a tennis professional. What inspires you? What is your secret? Um, so, yeah, I, I love to enjoy my life as well. You know, I'm very disciplined in training and making sure I'm not going out too much so that when I get to tournaments, I'm performing my best. Um, but kind of what inspires me was my dad. Um, he, my dad and mum, who put a racket in my hand from a young age and they worked so hard and they sacrificed a lot. You know, we moved from a small town up north in Australia to a big town, Brisbane, just for me to play tennis and they really didn't want to leave they were very comfortable um but they did that and they live you know that we weren't we didn't have a lot of money but they sacrificed everything because they believed in my tennis and seeing them inspires me all the time to make sure that i can always take care of my family back and then hopefully also give back to the philippines in the future if i am really successful yeah that's kind of inspires me my family and just how much I love the sport. I think you don't have a long career and you have to enjoy every day, even though there are hard days. But yeah, um, my family is one of the biggest inspirations for me. Thank you, Ms. Lisette, for your answer. Um, um, next question is from uh, Marianne. Um, hi, Ms. Lisette. My name is Marianne. I'm from National Capital Region. Yeah, um, so I recently partnered up with this brand called Clara Harper. I'm wearing it. Um, and she is a lady in the Gold Coast who designs activewear. And I contacted her and I said, look, I'm looking for a new sponsor. And she was like, I love tennis. I would love to sit down with you and go through designs um, for what you wanted. And yeah, that's how it started. And she's really lovely. She gives me um, lots of advice on what I should wear. And I kind of try on the dress and see like what I could fix. And I tell her what designs I kind of like. Um, but most of the designs are her. I just get a few things like what color I like and um, all that sort of stuff. But I love fashion and I love, um, my outfits I get to wear because I'm the only one wearing them and I love being different. Um, and yeah, she, Clara Harper has been really good for me because they give me so much and they're really nice. And I feel like every time I wear a new dress, everyone's always asking me where it's from. So they must, must be good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, it looks really nice actually. Um, <laughs> next question is from Raiden. My name is Lucette. Again, I'm Raiden Victor from Binawan and Rizal, part of Luzon Region 4A. And my question is, what tennis shoe brand do you wear? Um, I wear Asics. Um, I think it's pretty common brand. But yeah, I used to wear Nike shoes, but um, I have have been having feet problems. And since I started wearing the Asics, they've been really good. Um, and they give me free shoes, which is really awesome. So 
So yeah, that's why we're ASIC shoes. Okay, thank you for that, Ms. Josep. Okay, wait, uh, we have an uh, unexpected guest. So yes, Ms. Bervian. Good afternoon, Ms. Lizette. I am Virgianica Beosano and I'm from Silanca Vite. So, Ate Lizette, girl talk po muna tayo. Uh, do you have one who inspires you to perform to the best of your abilities? Um, special someone as in like a boyfriend or like a friend? A, a boyfriend po. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I have an Australian boyfriend. He's also a tennis player. Um, sorry, guys, I'm, I'm not single, <laughs> um, but I was for like a couple of years and that was great. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy at the moment. He understands the lifestyle. Um, but yeah, I'm a very like private person. Um, so that's why I haven't like posted much. Um, but yeah, no, he's, he's been really good for my tennis and me and yeah, so that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for answering that. Another surprise question from Benjo of Mapua Tennis Team. Hi, Ms. Lizette. I'm Benjamin Cano from Paranaque City. So my question to you is, where is your hometown here in the Philippines? And how often do you visit your relatives here? So I actually was born in Australia, in Townsville. Um, but my parents, my dad is, I'm going to butcher this, but my dad is Kapon Pangang. I hope I said that right. And my mom is from Basilan. She speaks Japokano. So um, I've only been to the Philippines once and I went to Manila for a junior ITF when I was like 14. Um, but I really didn't get to see much. I only saw the hotel and the court. So I'm hoping once COVID's over, I can go visit, you know, visit the club um, and go see like the beautiful islands because I know everyone raves about how good the Philippines are. Definitely. Definitely want to go. <laughs> we hope to see you here, uh, Miss Lizette. Yep. Okay, the next one is the son of the, our uh, uh, Philippine tennis Davis Cup coach, JB. Hi, Miss Lizette. I'm JB from Mandaluyon City. My question for you is, what kind of pressure do you feel just before your first match in any tournament, knowing you have to compete at a very high level at every single point? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I get really nervous um, before every match, whether it's in front of a big crowd, no crowd, it doesn't matter where I am. Um, but I just, the pressure I feel is like, I, I always want to win. And, you know, every week as a tennis player, you're, you're playing for income, like money and it's your job. So you train so hard. So you definitely want to do well. So you put that pressure on yourself, like, depending on who you're playing, what their ranking is. Um, sometimes you expect to win and you put that much pressure on yourself or sometimes you're defending points from last year. So you have to do well, the rest of your ranking will drop. So those are the few things that I try not to think about um, before a match. But yeah, those are the sort of pressures I feel. Great advice, great advice. Uh, next question uh, from Julia. Hi, Ms. Lizette. I'm Julia Ignacio from Lucena City, um, Quezon Province. Um, my question is, as a Filipino-Australian tennis professional, what are the expectations and goals for you from the tennis Australia? Yeah, um, so I've been lucky that tennis Australia has been really for my career. I have is just... sure that um, that I'm representing you know Australia and tennis tennis in Australia so just Okay, thank you, Miss Lizette. Okay, the next one is uh, from Crystal. Hi, Miss Lizette. I am Crystal Fabuhaldon from Alimudian Iluirin, Visayas. My question for you is, 
what motivates you most about your profession as an athlete? Uh, what motivates me most? Uh, I love winning. As I said before in the other question, I'm just very competitive. That's one thing, and I love being able to do what I do, and that motivates me every day, you know. I think sometimes when I get really upset or sad that I'm not doing well or training's really hard, I have to kind of put life into perspective. Like not everyone can, you know, play tennis in Australia and have all the support that I'm getting. Um, and yeah, that's my motivation is obviously winning. Um, but I also, I want to leave a legacy. Like I want to inspire the younger generation in, you know, what, where, whatever the country is, um, just making sure that like I can make girls or boys feel like they have a dream and that they can pursue it um, regardless of, you know, how much money they have. There's always, if there's a will, there's a way, you know, you can find sponsorships or whatever it is. Um, and yeah, just to yeah leave that legacy and inspire people to play tennis because it's created such a good life for me. It's been able to provide me with amazing friendships and I've been able to travel the world since I was 12 years old. And not many people can say that. So I'm very, very fortunate. And yeah, that's what motivates me. That's uh, really motivating. And uh, you have a lot of, as you can see, a lot of kids here uh, that motivates us because of you. Okay, uh, Miss Nia, please, your question. Oh, so, yeah. So. Hi, Miss Nia. I'm Nia Parnobi from Occidental Mindoro. And my question is, what advice can you give the young tennis players like the promising Alex Ayala regarding the motivation factor? Yeah, I think in tennis, it's really important to just um, keep that belief in yourself, no matter you know what the results are and to just always work hard and surround yourself with the right people. So yeah, so there's three things. It'd just be, you know, work hard, surround yourself with the right people and um, just to always keep that belief in yourself because it's very easy. Um, to lose that belief i've been there i had a really terrible clay season um two years ago or a year ago and i could not win a match on clay and i just felt so sad and depressed and i was like i'm doing all the right things and the results are not happening um but then i just kind of kept that belief and then i went over to the grass season and had a really good grass season and then that led to a really good back end of 2019 so you never know when you're going to get your break um and yeah just to Make sure you keep that perspective, keep working hard and make sure, yeah, the people around you are giving you the right advice and believing in you. Coach Davis, so we, will end, yeah. we will end the first part of with that beautiful message. Keep believing in yourself. Yes. And part, and part two next week. Mm. Well, ako, Coach Jerb, add lang ako ba, regarding dun sa sinabi niyo. Sorry, sorry. Ayun, add lang ako. Siyempre, as a player, siyempre, naging player din ako. That's nag naging coach, no? Um, Very important talaga na laging naniniwala tayo sa sarili natin. Kasi at the end of the day, sa loob ng court, ikaw pa rin yan. Ikaw pa rin. So, as coach naman, siguro... Um, dapat impor uh, very important din na maging magtiwala tayo sa mga players natin sa na alam natin na kaya naman talaga nila yung mga pinagdadaan like in training or sa tournament especially pagka pressured game na yung kinakabahan ng players natin na tayo rin kinakabahan tayo pero kung kung tayo hindi tayo maniniwala na ano ba yun hindi tayo maniniwala do sa kakayahan ng player natin automatic eh, babagsak din talaga. So very important, kailangan uh, magtiwala tayo sa sarili natin, ang kaya natin, at sa mga players natin kung coach din tayo. Coach Jerb. Yes, so important talaga yung self-belief. Yeah.
Hello, Coach Derp. Okay. So, uh, let's proceed muna siguro sa comment section, no? Sige. Ang daming, ang daming nagko-comments, eh. Okay. So, from Adil. Hi, guys. Ingat kayo lagi. Um... So shout out muna pala kay coach uh, coach Steve De Guzman. Shout out po sa inyo, lagi po siyang nanonood. Um, kay Marvin Mosquera, shout out din sa inyo. Um, sa aking kapatid si Prince Dan Alano, shout out sa iyo Prince and sa lahat po ng The Academy na nanonood tonight. So shout out sa inyo lahat guys. Um, meron po nag-aaya na dito ng ML naman. <laughs> si Mark Joseph Javier, ML ka ng ML, ha? <laughs> oh, so, meron din po na comment dito. Oh, ouch daw, Miss Lucille is not single na pala. From Nonoy Po. Okay, by the way po, sa lahat nga po pala ng mga, yung mga guests natin dito, from Isabela po yan, all the way, going to Sultan Kudarat. So, thank you po sa lahat ng mga naging guests na for this episode. Yeah, hello, 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 yes, yes. Yun, sige, naputo. Karoon ng technical uh, problem. <laughs> oh, ha, sabi mo na ba kung uh, if you want to follow this, eh, you can check out her Instagram. Yeah, sige, go sure. Instagram. Paki... Sige. Eh, share ko lang naman yung ibang mga photos niya na dun sa parang dun sa kanyang uh, Instagram mahal mga, mga simple mga picture lang naman <laughs> yan o <laughs> ito yung ano niya nung round one first time niya naglaro sa uh, ano sorry spoiler lang uh, kasi parang sa part <laughs> First time niya naglaro sa uh, Road Laver Arena, sabi niya. So, iba-iba experience. Ito yung kalaban si Simona, 2021 to. A auto coach derb, di ba? Australian oh, Open, ito. tama? Yes, 2021, oh. yes. Kasi ito rin yung official uh, Instagram account niya. Yan. So, follow natin, guys. Wow. Nope. So, world number two lang naman po yung nakalaban niya sa... <laughs> sa first round ng uh, ng AO Australian So, Coach Jerb, uh, punta na siguro tayo sa comment section muna. Sige, sige, sige. Go ahead. Ayan, so, from Mark Din, Coach Davis, Coach Nitang, ang pupogin yung lahat, Coach Jerb. Wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Shoutout sa'yo, Mark Din. A shout out kay ano kay JB JB Quarto shout out sa inyo shout out sa The Academy Sabi ni CJ Hasinto shout out din sa iyo CJ Hasinto Hey coach Derb Shout out din sa mga players tennis players sa Green Bay na nanonood hello hello ulit Yeah coach Kurt yeah thank you for watching Sir Wes Dela yeah. Cruz thank you for watching yeah si uh, Sino pa ba yung mga nanonood sa atin kanina? Yan, hmm. Isabella. You look beautiful, Miss Lizette. From Marvin Mosquera. Yeah. Wow. Yun, yun, yun. yun. <laughs> uh, John Wesley Tapos Benson. Na na Cheers, Lizette. Yun. Then can't wait now for part two, Bitin. Ayan, <laughs> sabi ni Angelo Manlangit, shout out kay Silem. Shout out sa'yo, Silem. And more daw, more. Sabi ng mga viewers, more. Ayan, so nabitin sila. Yeah, relax lang, marami pang uh, mag, mas mag, mag, interesting pa yung second part. Ayan. So, Yeah, Coach Davis, share ko lang yung isa ka pang, ano, isa pang uh, photo ni Lizette sa kanyang uh, okay, Coach. Instagram. Yan. Yeah. Yan mo, mga kasama lang naman niya. 
Grabe yan. Hindi <laughs> ko kilala yan. Hindi ko kilala yan. Sino, Sino ba yan? yan? Inakap- <laughs> Sino ba yung nakaputi na yan? <laughs> Kasi mga ano na siguro yan. Siyempre mga eh, ando na eh. Gums to gums daw. Oh. Ka- <laughs> Grabe. Hindi <laughs> naman. Sobro naman dyan. Magkatabi lang. O, oh, diba? The one and only. Speaking of, magpe-French, ano na, no? French Open na. Kiklay court mm. season na pala. <laughs> yes. Grabe. Yung mga perks ng ano, ng uh, isang, mga perks ng isang uh, tennis, ano, uh, siguro, part ng trabaho. Diba? Yan, ito pa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> di ko rin kilala di ko rin kilala yan coach John sino ba yan <laughs> sino bang hindi nakakakilala dyan <laughs> sa katabi ni Miss Lizette <laughs> oo nga eh ayun <laughs> gabi no so exciting exciting yung part 2 marami pa magagandang uh, questions dun eh tsaka Uh, marami pa magaganda. So, yun, uh, next week yan. Um, part 2 ng ating, ano. Say, let's move uh, forward na, no? Coach Davis. Yeah. Sa ating, ano, um, equipment corner. Yan. So, Sige na. Yan. Hello, Coach Martin. Good evening po. Ah, good evening sa inyong dalawa. Narinig niyo ba po? Coach. Yes, Coach. <laughs> Narinig na. Okay. Yes, Narinig. How are you? Well, Kailan mo nung no, no, interview niyo? Nawala ako sa gitna nung interview niyo eh. <laughs> Oo nga, Coach. Susubi kasi maraming unggoy. Tapos may nasun- ano, namatay yung isang unggoy sa electric car ano, namin. Nasunog siya. Pero kung nawala kami na kuryente. Kung nawala kami na kuryente hindi ako nakakuha ng, ano, ng internet. So, anyway, kamusta kayong dalawa? Balita ko, nakapa, nakapahinga si Lizette ngayon, eh, di ba? Dahil siya yung injury siya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, yun ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, yung risk injury, which, yes. is, very common, which is very common sa tennis. Uh, yes. uh, taon, daming taon na ako nagturo, eh, talagang yan ang problema. Risk injury or elbow injury, a shoulder injury, uh, upper extremity siya, yun ang mga common. Kasi eh, normally, we overuse it eh. Overuse injuries. Sa, sa lower extremities naman, yung knee. Knee tsaka yung ankle. Di ba? Sa lower back, siyempre, lower back. Sa mga mga 40 and above, lower back. Mahirap yun eh. So anyway, uh, tukul sa wrist injury kasi, normally, ang causes niya is use, overuse. Sobrang mm-hmm. gamit. So, kapag laro ka ng laro, eh, talagang, ano, na hindi mo talaga pinap- walang proper warm-up, walang, ano, yung, yung normal na kakaroon ng uh, tear yung mga tendons or inflammation yung mga tendons. Tsaka, ano, improper technique, yung masyadong wristy yung, ano mo, yung uh, stroke, ma-wrist ang ginagamit mo, lagi kang, lagi kang, lagi mo ginagamit yung wrist mo sa lahat ng, ano mo, strokes mo na overuse yung galaw ng wrist. Diba? Improper, improper equipment. Yes. Bigat. Yung malaki masyadong yung grip. Ah, grip size. Ha? So, normally, y- y- yun ang tatlong ano eh. Yung overuse, improper technique, tsaka yung wrong equipment. Normally, diagnosis na nakikita namin na problema ng, ng mga player na tinuturuan natin na pinanggagalingan ng ano, sa pag-ikot ko nga last this last month sa Paranaque eh nagturo ako ng mga parents iyan ang number iyan ang unang tanong nila yung injuries kasi normally equipment ng mga anak nila or sila mismo naglalaro tinatanong nila coach masakit yung wrist ko ang sinasabi ko sa kanila is rest i-ice mo yan tapos pag mag-consult pag pagpakonsulta ka sa mga sa doktor kung ano talaga pero meron naman ako ting alam Dalawang klase yan eh, ulnar tsaka yung radial ano, yung ulnar yung sa pinky eh yung sa area na to oh, ulnar, yan, yan. Yan, yan. 
yung radial dito sa thumb, sa thumb dito sa wrist dito. Yan, yan. Yan, yan, yung dalawang dalawang klase yan. So, pero madalas yung talaga yung ulnar yung sa dito sa dito sa dito mas madalas na masakit. Ma uh, siguro 80 sa 80% dito. Dito sa radial nangyayari din pero mostly ulnar yung ulnar ulnar part yung sa may pinky finger natin diyan diyan nangyayari. Surgery. So so mga players so tatlo yung ano tatlo yung overuse. Kailangan marunong tayo magpahinga. Hindi lang puro laro ng laro. Kailangan tayo yung stress kasi tsaka ano, dapat binabalance natin. Especially sa mga weekend players. We have proper warm-up. Uh, tapos uh, magpatulo kayo mismo. Mag- mag- Palati na lang nangyayari sumasakit yung risk. Kapag mali kayong palo. Maling na technique na ano, na ginagawa. So, uh, yung equipment natin, pacheck natin kung masyado malaki yung grip. Pabigat. Or yung ano ba bang normally sa kaya malaki masyado sa mga bata, malaki masyado, mahaba po siya. So, coach, coach, coach no. Mark, add ko lang, okay. since na, hindi, add ko lang, coach, since na mention mo yung sa grip, so, hmm. merong uh, sa mga non-professional tennis players, based on study to, na yung radial side and wrist injury occurred most often in players who, yung mga gamit madras ang eastern na grip. Hmm. Tapos yung ulnar side na sinasabi nyo, eh, Uh, frequently associated siya sa Western or semi-Western grip. So, mm-hmm. yung pala yung mga yes. injuries na yun. Yung technique na eh. Kasi yung paghawak pala ng laketa, tinuturo na natin yun eh. So, yes. ano, kung ano yung ano, excessive Western grip. Yung Eastern grip, talagang ano eh. Pag Eastern grip ka, tapos gusto mong topspin na topspin yung palo. No? Eh talagang uh, magamitin mo yung wrist mong papaloob na ganyan. So yung sa radial side, sa thumb part, dyan sumasakit. Overused din. Okay, so, uh, better knowledge of the grip. Kasi dapat ang grips kasi talaga pag tinuturo mo, eh, dapat alam nila lahat siyang gamitin. May favorite na nga sila. Pero dapat meno silang, pag gusto nyo nang ilakas yung spin, kailangan medyo yung western yung grip mo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ang ah, nga naman mag-western grip ka o semi-western grip ka, slice ang papaluin mo. Eh, talaga sasakit ang wrist nyo. So, <laughs> continental lang ginagamit mo sa slice, yun. So, na, slice forehand. Diba? Misa mo, papaslice forehand ka. Gagamitin mo, western grip. Mali yung grip. Mali yung grip, diba? Dapat they have to be informed on, on how to use the grips. Yung, ano, yung eastern, continental, western grip, semi-western grip. So, dapat i-explain natin yun sa mga Sige, ano natin yan, responsibilidad natin as coaches to inform all ano, sa mga clubs. Dapat ituro natin kung ano yung tama. Okay, so that's for their safety. Ang number ako rin, Coach. May add din ako. So sa lahat ng mga viewers natin, oh, for your information, hindi lang hindi lang mga beginners na nagkakaroon ng gantong injury. Most likely, ito yung mga mata- yung mga high, uh, high players, yung mga yes. professional players din, like Uh, Novak Djokovic, si uh, Juan Carlos Del Potro, Del Potro Del si Wozniacki. Yeah. Nagkaroon din sila ng uh, risk injury before. So, mm. uh, siguro, ay, again, i-relate lang din natin dun sa last, uh, kung napanood niyo yung ibang episodes namin uh, regarding yun nga, sa, sa raketa nga, di ba coach, di ba pinag-uusapan yes. natin yung weight. Okay, yung sa string, siguro... May yes. effect din siguro yan, Coach, kasi... Masyado mataas yung tension. Mm. Yes, yung vibration nung, nung raketa, uh, mm. umaabot yan sa buong arm natin. So, very important na malaman talaga natin uh, yung proper equipment natin, stretchings, kung masakit na, kailangan pa ba natin siyang i-gym, magbuhat ka ng dumbbell, no? Yeah. Kailangan mag-rest kayo. Normally kasi, tendonitis yan yung inflammation nung, nung ligaments mo, tsaka sa tendons mo sa wrist. So, so dapat siya pinapapahinga. Pagka nararamdaman niyo na sumasakit na yan, uh, medyo ipahinga niyo muna, dalawa, tatlong araw, i-hot compress niyo. Cold compress muna pa after playing, pero ngayon ko rin hot compress. Pwede rin may compression, pwede niyo ipitin, i-compress niyo. Ayan. Pero normally, it's ano, uh, overuse injuries yan. Parati natin ginagamit. Okay, so... 
So, okay. kailangan niya yung pinapahinga. So, maliliit pa naman yung tendons niya sa wrist. Yan ang pinaka-sensitive. Sensitive niya sa sakit. Parang sakit ng ipin niya, hindi ka makakatulog kung sumakit siya. So, marami na ako na na naturuan na ganyan, na naging problema. Na, nasabi ko, tigil muna tayo maglaro, pahinga ka ng isang linggo, tigil natin next week kung, kung okay na yan. Tapos, patingin tayo sa doktor, expert, pag sinabi ng doktor, hindi pa pwede, isang linggo pa uli, eh, tiisin natin yun. Kasi mas mahirap yung, yung mas, ano na, papagaling na, no? pero hindi pa talaga fully healed, tapos ilalaro na naman kagad. Yes. Kaya lang tumatagal yung ano mo. Tsaka yung performance mo, humihina mo, sumasama performance mo pag may masakit sa list. Eh. So, tsaka, tsaka coach, ano, hindi lang siya sa penis nakukuha, tandaan nyo. Hindi hmm. lang nakukuha ang risk injury sa penis. Sometimes, pag natutulog ka, okay, di ba? O na, no. na, nakatulog ka na ka ganyan. Or sometimes, hey. natumba ka na, na out of balance yeah. ka na itukod mo. So, yes. again, hindi lang po sa penis, no? Pwede habang natutulog ka. Yeah. or nagdapa ka sa kalye na, na itukod mo yung kamay mo. So, yeah, Ay, very important na, talaga mag-iingat din. Yes, yes. Pag natukod mo, yun, isa yun. Kasi mm-hmm. sa UP noon, nakatalo kami dahil yun lang. Panalamang na kami, na, 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 na bumagsak ng isang player ko ng hindi maganda. So, hindi pa siya, hindi niya pa natapos yung laro. Ah, natapos niya, pero wala na. Ang palo niya is effective na. So, Parang siya shell, no? Pag natulas, no, coach? Hmm. Or may hinabol kang pabigla-bigla, tapos bigla na off-balance ka, tutukod mo, or na-overrun mo isang bagay na raus pa. Sa, sa fence, siyempre, yun ang ano mo eh. Yun ang pang, panghihinto mo, di ba? Yun, normally doon sa fence. Sa contact yes. ng sa fence ng kamay mo. Yun ang, yun ang ano, yun ang or semento. Baka minsan mga semento pa nga yung mga court. Eh, diba? So, ingat lang. Kasi talagang ano yan. Uh, tapos, konsulta tayo sa doktor ha, kasi marami rin ako na experience na kaka- okay na to, pwede na, pwede na. Ipagalagyan ko lang ng pang-ipit. Ganun, pwede na. Eh, lalong tumatagal yung sakit ng ating wrist. Tapos, lalong nagiging grabe. Pag gumrabe yan, eh, balik na yun ang balik. Kala yes. niya, may, may strengthening exercises ka muna. May proseso yan na ibibigay sa... Well, medyo alam natin yun as coaches kung ano yung proseso. Pero kailangan mapahinga muna yan at mawala yung inflammation bago kayo maglaro ulit. Kung hindi, babalik at babalik. Okay? So, ah, yun. Sagot na yun. Yun na. Kita yun. Yun na sagot na yun. Yun na sagot na yun. Mga tips daw po about uh, ma-avoid ang risk injury. Okay. Yun na sagot naman tayo. Yung stretch na yun. Sige, go, sige, go. Go ahead. Masakit ang wrist nyo, tapos in-exercise nyo, pwede ganun din yun. Huwag mo yung exercise yun. Kailangan yung total rest. So, yung, yung wrist nyo na masakit, itigil nyo muna yung ano dyan, galaw dyan. Pwede ka naman mag-tumakbo, pwede kang ano, gumawa ng ibang exercises na hindi involved ang wrist. Coach, so, may, may nagtanong lang sa akin. O. Oh. <laughs> ano naman yun? Yaloko na naman ako. Coach, Injury daw ba yung laging ganyan? Ka, laging ganyan ang ganyan? Kahit out naman yung palo, mga ganyan lagi. Ngayon, mandalaya na yun. Hindi ko alam kung hindi nervous yun eh. Baka hindi nervous yun. O, diba? O, uh, hindi injury yun. Ano yun? Ano yun Baka kapinakabahan. Or, <laughs> hindi, ano? Coach. Coach, pag palo niya ng forehand, Diba? Kahit out, uh, gumag- hindi pa mapagsak, ginaganyan na yung palo. Uh, uh, <laughs> maraming ganyan. Marami akong kilalang ganyan. Uh, uh, pero yan ang yan mong misan uh, nakakatuwa pag naglalaro kayo sa sa club, diba? Kansyawan yan. Oh, hindi pa tumatalbog. Tinatawag mo na yung bola. Pasok pa pasok. Eh. Oh, diba? So, or out. Diba? Good yan. Good out. Good. Pag-alit ka na. Pag-alit Out. Uh, out good no? out yan may may risk injury nga daw coach kaya nang ganun lang teka na naman daw siya so puro ganun lang ay <laughs> talaga hindi ko lokohan masakit nga na wag niyo manihin niya wag niyo lokohin niya wag niyo seryoso din natin masakit ang risk yes. kasi pwedeng pag pwedeng maging ano yan eh maging permanente actually yes. pagka lagi mong hindi mo pinagagaling masakit na lagi yan so 
Baka mali yung word na permanente pero hindi na pareho nung dati. Baka hindi na makuha, hindi mo na makuha yung pareho nung dati na dating free, maluwag ang gamit mo ng wrist. So, kailangan pinalalakas natin yan. May mga exercises sa gym or sa YouTube lang. Ang daming, ano niya, maraming recovery exercises ang wrist stretching exercises. Uh, ano pa ba? Uh, ano pa yan? May stretch, tama, stretching exercise, tsaka yung ano, yung weights. May weights rin yan. May... Pero may mga gym exercises yan. So, yun lang. Huwag natin overcomplicate yung ano, pero pahinga yan, pahinga. Yung masakit. Yes. Ayos, coach. So, thank you. I'm I'm sure uh, napasana na pasaya namin kayo at marami kayong natutunan. Well, kung thank meron ito ng tanong pa, Ah, uh, so, yung next full time sa sagutin natin, di ba? Yes. Okay, uh, di ba? Ma- ah, may tanong last week, coach. Ito, ganto, 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 ganto. Ah, oh, babalikan natin 'yan. Oh, para muna lang tayo ng iba pang pag-uusapan. Oh, ano coach, naman 'yan? <laughs> Hindi oh. may tanong, coach. <laughs> Sino daw ba 'yung ano? Isang player na po pa ano pa lang katakas. <laughs> <laughs> Maraming ganyan. Taga dito sa <laughs> taga Greenview sa sa club nila, coach. <laughs> Ah, hindi ba hindi okay. kilala yun? <laughs> May seminar pa nga daw siya pa. Ano, ano gawin yun? <laughs> K- kailan dapat seminar, gawin? Seminar oh. pa. Ayun talaga. Oh, kailan dapat gawin? Ano, anong score? K- ano, anong score? Oh, Magkagawin mo na. Ano? <laughs> Pusa po. Pusa po. Ayun. Ayun. Coach. So thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you again, question eh? for participating. Thank you din Coach Martin. Yes. Any questions pasa niyo na kay Davis, sasagutin natin next time. Yes. Okay. Thank you Coach. Bye, thank you Coach Martin. Ingat kayo. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Yes po, yes. Okay. Thank you Coach. Okay, thank you. okay bye-bye. Yun. So, grabe Coach. Very inter ano interactive yung ating uh, injury. Grabe yung mga injury niyo, ha. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <yun>. <laughs> uh, let's uh, move on now to our uh, Milo update. Kevin here and welcome back to Milo Tennis Tips for Beginners. Are you guys excited? Yes! Let's go! In today's warm-up, we're going to do what we call the handball tennis with partners. All we need to have is our orange bouncy ball and the partner. And today my partner is? Miguel! Okay, now we're going to demonstrate. Just push the ball with your left hand. Push the ball.
showcase what we call Rally with Partners with single target each using our forehand grip. All we need to have is our ITF approved Wilson tennis balls and our racket. With my partner, Kobe, we're going to demonstrate our activity for today. Simply make sure to target the box. Only forehand. Use your forehand. Now, to make it more challenging, we're going to do the exact same thing but this time using our backhand grip. Okay? We'll demonstrate it now. Take our backhand grip, simply tap. Okay? To level things up, we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to use both forehand, backhand. We're going to use it alternately. Okay? you learn something new today keep on practicing stay home stay safe hello yun so grabe parang si ano ba yun si Miguel ba yung nasa unang part yun si Miguel yun Miguel Cuarto ayos ah napasama shout na. out yan ayun so uh, for next week uh, share ko lang to before we uh, ang ating part 2 so si share ko lang yung ating part 2 yan next week next week yan uh, April 28 to 9 pm so ayan so yun Davis um, that's it this is uh, our Watch out for our next episode next week. That's it for this edition of our Filta webinar brought to you by the Philippine Tennis Association and Milo. Again, this is Coach Gerber Mamawal saying good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you all next Tuesday. Coach Davis, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.